So for me, I had to really question everything. Even things about the Course. I know people are fond of talking about the Course as a self-study book. But uh, when Jesus says in the Course, the ego enjoys studying itself. <laughs> that's like a beware. <laughs> beware even of self-study. We're here to collaborate, we're here to join, and it's all in mind, actually. But we really need to be open to our brothers and sisters. We can't think of this as just an intellectual endeavor, as we were hearing in our meditation. This is far beyond intellectual understanding and concepts. And I've had people say to me many years, I, I get that concept intellectually, but, and I said, if you throw that word but in there, you've just negated <laughs> whatever you had at the beginning. <laughs> you can throw that out too. The Course cannot be understood intellectually, and therefore it's a course in relinquishing every concept and every idea that you've ever held. Buddha had it straight. Jesus had it straight. Empty the mind of everything you think you think and think you know. And the only way that we can do that is through trust. We have to trust the Spirit is guiding us and leading us. We can't trust our past learning. We can't trust jobs to support us. We can't trust opinions. We can't trust research. Now that we know in quantum physics that all of Newtonian and all of empirical research is, is all a projection. All of Newtonian physics based on the belief that there's an external world and you can learn something about that through empirical knowledge. It was a lie. Quantum is now lining up with all the mystics and saints and poets and Rumi and, you know, it's really beautiful, but we really have to let go of everything. Whenever you even hear the words, research supports you can, right away, you know, we're into intuition. We have to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. I have a friend, Frances, and she basically is living a very mystical life. I'm really honored, actually. I, I live with a group of mystics that are really all over the world, but every one of them actually hear the voice for God. It's quite amazing community. We always hear about the Essenes and the Apostles and the Franciscans and everything. It's just an amazing thing when you live and work and collaborate with a group that really hear guidance. Actually, it's quite a harmony. It's quite a, a living experience. It's quite a reflection, actually. I think, wow, what a reflection. This is the happy dream. We can commune. We have nodding heads. We don't have democracies or take votes or what's your opinion, you know, we don't, we've gone past that from living this course, from applying this course. It's an amazing daily mystery school of not knowing anything about this world and feeling gloriously happy. 